viewing and managing your event list during acquisition. To view your event list during acquisition, left click on the event list tab on the side of your screen. The event list will show all of the events that are chosen from the headers and subcategories of the columns above. To expand each header to see the sub events listed within that header, click the arrow to the left of that header. Each item below can be enabled or disabled by checking or unchecking the box associated with that event list type. To uncheck all event lists type from a header, simply check that box itself. Add all of those subcategory events back, check the box again. Each header has specific subcategories associated with it that can be customized and individually chosen or discarded. Customized tabs can also be created to show additional subsets of events and customized tabs to suit a specific viewing need. To create a new tab, click on the plus icon in the upper right hand corner. A new tab will be displayed below. To customize the name of that tab, double click on the tab name. Type your desired custom tab header, and then choose the items from each category that you wish to be included in this tab. If none of the selected items are included in the current EEG acquisition, no items will show up in your event list. Additionally, any events that show up in your event list will also have a tag associated with that event in your histogram located at the bottom of your EEG screen. The event list also has columns that can be customized to each viewer's needs. To choose which columns show up in your event list, right click the column header and choose the event list columns to be included in your event list. You can also expand on the event list window to get more real estate so that you can see each column in its header that has been chosen. Additionally, you can filter your events and search for specific events by using the search box above. You start typing into the search box, only the events associated with the text entered will show up in your event list. Changes to your event list will be saved and remembered for the next time you start a study.